Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. It is Vicky Ross, and <clears throat> running a few minutes late because Chrome had a little glitch. Um, so I'm here, and I'm showing you the pages from last week. Well, and I did go ahead and apply two poppers. And I tried to keep them with the other collage elements so that they didn't stand out too much. And now that I'm looking at it, they're awfully close to the same spot. But, oh, well, that's the way things roll. This is for practice and a place to experiment. Not double mint, experiment. Um, anyway. If you're catching this on replay, feel free to fast forward. Um, we may do a little bit of chatting and answering of questions. And we're going to jump in here in just a few minutes. So go get yourself a cup of coffee or tea or iced tea or whatever. It's 54 here today, so it's iced tea weather. It's always iced tea weather. <clears throat> And get yourself something to work on while you listen. Wait just a few minutes for some folks to pop in. No, that wasn't for yawn. I show y'all what I got. Part of the Black Friday stuff. I am thrilled with it. I got an 18 by 24 cutting mat from Arteza, and my large glass mat is under it, and I really like it. It goes all the way back to there, which might help keep visual clean, and so then I figure I can put my small one there, then we're ready to go, and thank goodness my chair goes up and down so I can raise it. I thought about putting my little real thin light board thing underneath it because it's big too. I might use it more if it was handy. These little poppers is what I call them. They're just odds and ends and scraps of stuff that you end up throwing away. They end up in the floor. <clears throat> so just put three or four of them together sometime when you're not feeling creative and Glue them together and put them in a bag, and you've got to need them for a pop of something to finish a journal page. So I'm going to go on. This was well, a couple of weeks ago, and she turned out a little bit muddier than what I thought, but I love the texture. And that's why you do these in a journal, is because you're not timid about ruining a $10 canvas or something. And this is another, this from a couple of weeks ago. I really like this one. I like how, whoops. Um, that was a piece of washi tape in the end of it. I didn't think was going to hold. So it doesn't hurt to give them a little, a little extra. And I better get something and <clears throat> wipe that off. Wet wipe to the rescue. And then these were done with the sept, sept, hey Sep, Seth after Isinks. I got four of them. They're ice, Isinks ice. Four of them. I got three or four of the sprays. The um, 
pigment sprays and well can't remember can't remember okay dye sprays got six of those and two of the pigment ink So I'm going to attempt to make these two pages coordinate a little bit. They don't have to, but they don't have to. And then I did this page with three of the four colors I have in the ice ink, the ice. And we're going to try some alcohol ink on this. So, get down to it. First thing is a coffee filter. I ordered brown coffee filters, the flat triangular ones, Melita. And my, my shopper man came in with these, but they'll be fine. I can get them apart. That was too good. Wind it up and I don't know if this is coffee or tea. I think it's coffee. Just in case I decide to use it. I'm going to leave it like that to dry a little bit. And I'm going to clip this page down. Started this book in January. And I've still got many pages left. This book is from Walmart. It's the Dale Rowney sketchbook. The paper is great for mixed media. And they're less than $10. Everyday price. This is 8 half by 11 And they have them in quite a few sizes. So I pulled a few things from some of Robin's printables. And some of these came from um, pre-Jelly Team. So I'm not real sure. They're probably on the Patreon site. But what I want to know is whether any of the bright color will show. As I picked this up, I saw Lee's face. I know, I can't help it. It's in my nature. There's her chin, her mouth, her nose, and an eye. How about that? We all know how much I love faces. It's just perfect. Kind of a joker mouth. See, there's her dimple way out here. All right. I've got this one on onion skin. The onion skin doesn't disappear quite as good as deli paper. But I don't see anything on that one that rocks my boat. <clears throat> This one I think does because it's got some kind of some blues. Like I said, they don't have to. Hey, Joycey. I do too, especially around Joyce. Joyce just came in. She's my, my moderator. We don't have too much trouble here. I think I'm going to start by separating this and maybe I've got water in this. This is my fancy dancy water pen. 
water brush. Isn't that cute? I got it from AliExpress on a promo one day. It's got a little, you can check the levels are. It was in face down, so it. It's out of water. And we'll put it in my dirty water. Now, all you do on these is you, you put your pump thing all the way down here and then put it in the water and pull the pump back up like that. And it um, automatically pulls the water. Till the pump stops. Now it's full. Okay. Operator error. Hello to everybody out in YouTube land or wherever you are. I'm going to neatly, not like my usual slap and dash methods. That's my goal for the new year. Just slow down. Enjoy the process and let my muse catch up. This is so much better than fussy cotton. Must not have gotten wet enough. Has everybody had a good week? If you're wanting to be ticky, just make sure you go outside the area that you want to keep. I even like this better than ruler trimming. There's a little piece that can be used for nails. All right, so there's something. Try stuff out. Now, the Robin McClendon dot com. Dot com. Whoops, where are you going? This way. Stuff is stronger than I thought. Come on now. The jagged lines are part of why the jagged edges part of why my collages always end up looking like they were born that way. Like they were just one single piece of paper. 
because the edges blend in so much better when they're jagged or torn looking. If y'all buy direct from Arteza, you can collect points, reward points, and free shipping. I think the prices are the very same they are on Amazon. Not just like Amazon at all, but um, then you get reward points that you can trade in for coupons on your orders. So, the map that I just showed you under here, you can't see it. Can't see it there either because of the light. It's a gray and it's reversible. I had some points and it was on sale for a pre Black Friday. So I think I ended up getting that for $14. And I've always wanted one this size. All right, now we got that to play with. Just for grins, take this off. I can always glue it back together. There are no oopsies. Got down to 21 last night in Arkansas, northern Arkansas. Randy took baby's walk and he said it was 24. Now, you might ask yourself, why did you do that? Well, I did it because that would give me this piece that I could use over here. Somehow or other. Maybe. Looks like a tornado. You can curve around that. Or, or, I have a problem with Kelly Green, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to use it. Hey, Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see. No, they're printables from, I uh, see that Joyce told you, Robin McClendon. She's got great printables. And uh, you can get them by being on her Patreon account. And you can buy them from her Teachable account for like, you know, whatever that month's number is that she feels like putting in. Um, last month it was 20 for $6. So, I'm just trying some things out to see what I like. Maybe. I tore that piece off here. Nothing says it has to be the way it came. And the way she designs her printables is that she'll have many different elements collaged together. Makes it easier to cut them apart and use them. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're cooking with gas. And this could get used or it doesn't have to get used. I think that's a good start. Okay, here's my coffee filter that I sprayed with coffee and crumpled. And I'm going to dry it now because I want to use it. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I was just listening to Larry Gatlin. Sorry. Forever. So did y'all have a good Thanksgiving? Did you stay home by yourselves? Or are you one of the brave ones who travel? And you can't see the coffee. And that's the darkest. I have some apron. This is a Tom Lynch bottle. And it's designed in his watercolor. He uses a lot of spots. So it's designed to just put out dots. Unless you push it down hard. Let's see if that shows. Smell the vinegar. To make apron ink, springtime is the ideal time to pick them up and get some that have been laying on the ground all winter. But mine came from fall and they really made a nice color. Uh, and you just put acorns, caps, nuts, and all, just dump it in a pot. Cover it with water, let it boil, put a little bit of vinegar in it, like, you know, a couple tablespoons or a quarter of a cup, something like that. And then boil it for three or four hours. And if, then if you can, just leave it sit overnight and let it um, lose part of its water. What am I thinking about? Evaporate. There it is. It'll evaporate, and then if it's not evaporated enough, and test it by dipping a piece of something in it, you can put it in the microwave. And then strain it. I just use a paper towel over a jar. And the vinegar keeps it from molding. And I was all sure that that was better than... Uh, well, one thing it did was it made my wrinkles stand up a little more. I put mine in the microwave for five minutes and it exploded all over the microwave. So don't do that. I don't know what that was. Let's see what we can do here. 
Now, if I were to use part of this over here, I could use this green, small green, this green, just for a little bit of something, something. Let's try it. This is by Stazon. It's permanent. And I'm just going to kind of do this and hit the the tops of the wrinkles. About like that. I haven't used these lately. And I lost one in the pit. The pit, it fell down somewhere beside... This might work better over here. Okay. I always like a torn edge over a cut edge for most of my collages because I don't want them to look too perfect. Okay, I'm going to start putting stuff down here in a minute. See what's going on over here. Oh, yeah, if your kids make food, that's great. Josie, we did too. We stayed here by ourselves. By my brother and his two kids and their spouses don't believe in COVID. Which they shouldn't be around my mom because she's 92, but she doesn't have the heart to tell them. It's not that, that I think they're contagious, but I don't know who they've been around. So, too bad. I'm compromised and Randy's compromised. Definitely. He's got a, a form of leukemia. Not the kind you die from, but the kind you die with. I don't know what that means. That's what the oncologist told him. All right, let's go. I'm looking for my hoo -hoo. I don't want to cover up all that brown. I like it. This is the lazy man's way of getting stuff lined up. And it works pretty darn good most of the time. Just make sure you overlap where you start and finish. Okay, I'm going to leave that loose for now. Sometimes I do it like this. And depending on where you live, I had that under there to raise that so you can see. One thing that Staying home has done for us is that Randy has decided he really enjoys cooking. Today he made a homemade quiche. 
was to die for. On Thanksgiving Day, we had uh, roast beef and canned cranberry sauce. It's a joke around here. Mashed potatoes and corn. It was good. I'll let that hang a little bit over. I might leave it. It can just hang. I'm thinking I like this uh, scraper from Catalyst better than a credit card. Although credit cards do have their place. But this is so soft and silicone that it doesn't tear your paper or your fragile papers. Okay. I think I like it pointing up better. Isn't it funny this yellowy green doesn't bother me, but the Kelly green does? Okay, I like it there. I don't know why. Mom's doing as well as could be expected about dad passing. They've been married 73 some odd years. I asked her the other day, yesterday, I said, well, it was tough when Sarah passed away, but is this different, harder, or about the same? She said, oh, it's harder. She's lonely. My car is broken. Well, I tell you, when it rains, it pours. But no, that's not right. When it rains, there's a rainbow. Thankfully, we bought a warranty program for repairs on cars. And I think we're going to be able to get it fixed through that. We'll see. So, little baby B is sitting in the garage. With a broken engine. And Randy says it's because we didn't drive her enough during the last few months. It's a little soon to be antique BMW silver with a navy blue convertible top. It's pretty. All right, quit talking. Where are we going next? I'm in the mood for some dippies. Yeah, let's try it. This is Seth. Uh, Dye spray. Now, I'm not real sure. I know dye. And I know if your paper is not sealed, it will um, soak right in. Yeah, if I can find a paintbrush. <laughs> Oh, God. That'll work. It's still kind of strong. Spill it and you'll find out.
Because I already drip over that. Thank goodness it's face up. I swear to God, Vicky. I'm going to fake a drip on the coffee filter side. I'm just putting it on real thick, and then if you want some in a certain place, start it yourself. All right. We haven't done that in a long time. I'm going to do the same color. Crap. Excuse me. Do the same color over here. I have my iPad in here. and I've been playing with... Um, Procreate. I'm just going to flick this brush. Use your hands. Finger paint. Whatever you were told you couldn't do. I'm sorry, I can't let y'all see. <laughs> I'm just trying to get enough color on there where it shows up. This page wasn't showing up quite as much. All right, we went crooked. That's all right. I have never flipped like this. I always do it like this. But I've been watching a lot of videos. And if you get a lot somewhere, just tip your book back up the other way and it'll flow back a little. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. There's not anything particularly interesting under there. See, it's hiding on that. So go ahead and put that on there. And then, and sometimes I do it like this, fold it back and. And we got picked up some dots. I haven't done drips and that sort of thing for a long time. Should have let that dry first, but I didn't. Surely I ought to be able to use that somewhere. Let's, let's just find a page like that. We can't do that until that dries. Nope, it never goes away. It's been 19 years for my daughter, and she's just like yesterday. 
See the mess I got there? No problem. In fact, we'll help it a little bit. Okay, we're looking we're looking pretty good. Let's find a page. That one's the one I now what I'm gonna do is just pour this. Because we don't want to waste anything. Started just start a dribble down. See it pull that one back up to the top and then pull a dribble down. And it did go off the page, but that's okay. Now this will give us a page to work on. And that paper was not coated, so the ink mostly soaked in, but it, it did a pretty good job. My mom went out Sunday, I think it was, to rake leave her flower beds. Now on Tuesday, couldn't walk and had to go to the emergency room. She has never just sat in a chair and done something sedentary. <coughs> I would love to get her on art, but she's afraid she can't do it. Which is, of course, you can't do it until you know why and how. That turned out really pretty over here. This was from my um, creative writing class with Robin. And I just filled some pages with circles just because she's going to offer it again in the spring. It's really a good class. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. It's on my blog, Vicky. No, my blog, actually.com. A X U L L Y. That's my phonetic spelling of actually, we went to the restaurant. You know, that word. So these are in here for other pages. All right. We're looking we're looking pretty good. We're gonna do something up there. Let's see about a pop. -up. I found the most of them in there though, didn't I? Yeah. Wait a minute. I've got some tickets here. Take the computer stuff out. Uh-oh. You're supposed to stay in there. 
and an old date stamp that doesn't go past year 2010. No. It must go up to 2019, 2020. No, it will be, I don't know. 18, probably 19. All right, quit. You're getting yourself confused. Just all these little scraps of paper and stuff make wonderful little poppers, little mini collages. That can finish off a page in no time. Oh, and this is for those of you who don't know. These are the paint boogers that come off the the caps of your paint. And if you flatten them while they're still just a little bit malleable, these make great covers for tag holes. Okay. Put that away. See? You don't have to cover it all. I think that's just the right nice thing to do. Okay. Any of these would work. Here's a, a stamp I made in my printables that is of paintings. Whoops. And my camera has been shifted. And I made big stamps from them. So now we're going to have to pick. Dolly. Okay. Who likes this one? For up here. That one. Too many choices. In lag time. Trying them out. Here's another one of my stamps. Got to figure out which way it goes. That way. This is nice because it kind of pulls this in. So I like that. The blue is good. This one not so much. I need to make some more. That's too picky for these pages. I kind of like that. The more floral one. That would be this one. On which page? This is my left and right. Upper right. Alrighty. That can happen. Okay, now over here. I don't like that one on there. I get Okay, so we've got three here to pick from. The blue one, the darkish one, and the pinkish one. Oh, 
I still like that one. You agree? Pinkish. This one. With the butterfly. That one does look pretty good. No? Okay, I gotta wait. I'll have a drink of water. Yes. Hey, Nancy. No butterfly. Okay. So is this the pink one? No butterfly. You're out. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's put them down. It doesn't have to be that neat, that red stamp. Shiny. Pink small. This one. It's the only pink small I have. And on these, I kind of like to leave a little piece or two. I don't glue them down all the way on here. So you just pick a four. Oh, you said butterflies, no butterflies, but that's the four one. Oh well, we're going with that. Now the whole point was to kind of cover that. So this can come down just a little. I like that, and that mimics the curve there. Okay, we're good. Um, my 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 use little aliens today. Um, did a play date with Rosemary Morris the other day, Saturday, and she told me that um, the dollar store has a an acetone based glue, just like. caught it. Um, Fabri-Tac. Or dollar bottle. It's a smaller bottle, but that doesn't matter. It's almost $20 at Walmart. I guess you should compare apples to apples.
Ok. I can crap up a desk faster than Oh, I watched a video by Danielle Cry. I bought it on Creative Bug. It's a free one. And she was talking about a um the thing she uses now if I want to come back and glue these down I can but I'm gonna leave it for now anyway she feels she has three mason jars and she color codes them with post-it notes and so she'll cut the post-it notes in pieces and then in the first one she'll write the medium like um, Seth's inks or uh, acrylic markers or colored pencils or whatever and then in the middle one, she puts, I think that one's her concept, like um, winter sky or swimming pool or, you know, something that's the subject. And then over here, she puts the color that she's going to work with. I think I like that approach. I don't know that I will do the theme in, in this one. Because this might be a theme, so I guess it would. I mean, you could say that's a theme. Um, you know, a collage page would be a theme. So I've got to think of what would be good. All right, let me take a picture. Okay. Now let's um, baby powder. Let's put them on this little baby. Print them. Uh oh, there. This is the Fomino printer. Fomino stands for photo memory, I think. Looking for the app. There it is. Yeah, how do I get rid of you? Print image. Can you believe now it wants me to find the image? Prints in black and white. You don't want it to be real, real dark. What happened to you? Oh, 
What? Well, what? Did that? Picture. I'm gonna go with that. It doesn't matter. Okay, now that's what it'll look like. Hmm. Let me try something else. More contrast. Not that much. Well, that's a hair trigger there. That's better. We're picking up some value contrast. That tells it to print. And I've got clear. Okay, clear um, label. Is that cool or what? Is that right? You can't even tell. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't even tell really what it is, but it's, I see a cute body over here. Now, don't see her. That's weird. Okay. Now then, let's do the other one. That's sweet. A little slow today, aren't we? Okay. Mm -hmm. That one. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Print. This is a dye sublimation. The ink is in the paper. Or not dye sublimation. Um, crap. You know, like receipts and stuff. It's done with light exposing it. I didn't get a color one because they are. Two, three times the cost. This has been on the same charge for a year. And it's Bluetooth. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Tell my daddy took the keyboard away. I think I'm just going to put that down. Just because I can. I'll take a little more off that. So did y'all find any good Black Friday deals? I was disappointed in Ranger this year. They only had some pre... Uh, chosen sets. I should say curated. And there was only one that I would have wanted and it sold out, of course. And those were half off, but everything else was just 20%, I think. Arteza had a good one, but I didn't get anything. Oh, did I forget to say these are sticky?
Let's see who else had good ones. Tonic had one before Christmas, so I ordered what I needed from them. Did you like the way I said that? <laughs> now you'd never know that if I didn't tell you, but yeah, I saw it here. Okay, now I want to see. Oh, I better put a piece of paper between them. Just in case. Now, this is the page I did before I got here. I like one. I probably went out. I've got two little ring lights because this corner is always dark on my page. Okay, so I can put that back in its bucket and that. Nearly an hour. I've had this for a little while. The Arteza alcohol markers, Everblend markers, sixty colors. And I don't know there's a kind of the color of the blue in the color of the brownish rusty color. Let's try these. Okay, and we will See how that goes. And I think I've got some alcohol up here. Nope. <laughs> All right, now darn it. There it is. It's kind of greenish. And I've also got this um, pinata. Move her around her. Stuff. I put this in there. You just thought you were going to get a wipe there, didn't you? All right. Now I've seen people do this. And it takes, theory is, according to Tim Holtz, if you have an acrylic um, coating on your paper, which acrylic is a form of plastic, that's what UPO is in all the artificial papers. Let's see if we can just do a wispy flower. To our alcohol first. I should put that down because it is. And see this worked. Yeah. Ha! Cool. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's 
So, we know it works. I do know from past experience that it does not like, these don't like to be put in a, so. Let's try the pinata. I like the alcohol better. Cool, huh? Did I miss something? Bye, Kelly. Thank you. Oh, you're talking about getting something from Jane. Put that on. I'm going to put that away because I it tended to remove it. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I mean, it's kind of little or nothing right now. I have a little table that I slide over here. For projects, but it's full of collage papers. I'm thinking that's a scary, scary thing. This is the kind of terracotta e color. can't tell you how tickled I am. Oh, it's a good thing it evaporates. Now, it doesn't have to be a flower. No harm, no foul. What time is it? Four fifty. It's almost five o'clock. All right. I want a little. What do you want? Back. This is a dark gray. Shit, you did it again. Sorry. Excuse my French. Thank you. 
I'm going to get my little um, airbrush out. My little play one. Because it works really good. Because it doesn't have a whole lot of pressure. That was the one I lost the plug on, remember? This thing works pretty good. This is the Tim Holtz deal. Okay, dark brown is the color. I'm having fun. This is going to be spectacular technique. In my humble opinion. I want these to go sideways. Let's see how I do. Not bad. I haven't looked at her stuff in a while. I need to do that. I got so many irons in the fire. So this up here doesn't look like anything. It doesn't have to be anything. I think I'm going to quit. It can always be altered. Lamp off. Ta-da. Thank you, Arteza and Seth Aptor. Simple. Are you taking screenshots? And I was going too fast. Okay. I can always come back and rework this if I want to carry it to another level. But for now, I think that's going to 
do it for me. I love the color here that matched Seth so well. Both of them did. This is Seth, and that's Arteza alcohol markers. Picture. All righty. Doesn't matter where I get, I get some shadow. Okay, maybe that's better. All right. I had a good day. I'm tickled. Tickle, tickle. Now come and take a picture of this, YouTube. All right, everybody that's out there, thank you for coming. And the future thank yous for coming. <laughs> Anybody that, that watches on the replay, thank you very much. I love you too, Joycey. You're just great to show up every week. This makes me happy. You know what this means? You could put alcohol ink on any lighter background that had acrylic paint on it. Those are, but you know, these have too much paper, but any kind of a painted background that was light, or if you wanted alcohol ink on this, you could come back with, um, um, I don't think clear gesso would make, would help it move. It would have to be a clear glazing medium or something that is the acrylic ingredient with no color. And I know it has a name. I just, and I probably got some. I've got, I bought a Golden's sample pack a couple years back, and it had small bottles of a lot of different things. So come on, Amazon, take a picture. I mean, YouTube, take a picture of that. They'll probably have something in between. Cool. I like it. Bye, Nancy. Love you, love you, love you. Thank everybody for coming and hanging out with me. Over and out.